story made in Michigan State Capitol to the tune of furious protesters. <laughs> Reverend Jesse Jackson joined in, sat in, and led a prayer. A state that shed blood to help launch the organized labor movement, Michigan passed right-to-work legislation, making it illegal to mandate workers join a union or pay money to a union. It's not good for the economy. I don't know what they're thinking. From public school teachers to auto workers, the fear is lower wages, fewer benefits, and less bargaining power. Our parents, our grandparents, and our great-grandparents, they, they struggled and they fought, and some of them even, even died to have the right to organize for better safety, better wages, better benefits for their children. Are you too concerned that your union is next, that you might be subject to something like this? We always have that concern. Protesters moved from the Capitol and sat in at the entry to Republican Governor Rick Schneider's office. Then police removed the media. To me, really, this is about maintaining democracy in America. The symbolism is perhaps just as important as the measure itself. Does this mean the beginning of sort of a death of unions in this country? Are you concerned that this is that big symbolically? No, I, I think that unions, I think that things like this are waking the sleeping giant. I think that workers and working families are tired of losing. They want a fair share of the prosperity of this state and this country. But it puts a spotlight on the decline of union membership in America. More than 20 percent of U.S. workers were unionized in 1983. Today, it's less than 12 percent. While most union workers oppose the right to work bills, not all do. This is going to be good for the economy. It's going to bring jobs to Michigan. And we'll Brian Panabecker has worked at Ford as a union member for 16 years. For the past two, he's been fighting to help pass the right to work legislation for this reason. It will give me a voice. It will give me leverage inside the union because now if I threaten to resign from the union, I'm taking my union dues with me. Under current law, I can resign, but I still have to pay the union so they don't care.